Hi, this is Steve from Pixel Bump. Welcome to this AE Bootcamp tutorial on project planning and organization. I know project planning isn't the sexiest place to start, but it is the foundation of a great workflow and the foundation of great work. There are a lot of reasons to embrace organization. You have the time it takes to find assets, trading off projects with other coworkers or receiving projects from other coworkers. After you've worked professionally for a while, you always have a project that you think you've fully delivered, but the client can always come back for one more change. So pulling that old project back, setting it up quickly, getting the changes done can save you lots of time and lots of headaches. So let me introduce you to the project structure that I have been using for many years. I've been able to get this project structure implemented at three different studios here in LA. It's a very basic structure. There's a folder for projects, a folder for elements, a folder for pre-renders, and a folder for final renders. Let's dive into the projects folder. Here we have a folder for 3D, for After Effects, for edits, for tracking data, and color. It just keeps all your different project files nicely organized. And of course, you know, you can always add more to it. Here in the elements folder, you're going to find a folder for raster, for vector, for video files, audio files, fonts, and docs. Now, I've seen a lot of project folder structures where in the elements folder you have a folder for PSDs, a folder for JPEGs, a folder for PNGs, a folder for GIFs, and there's nothing wrong with that, but to me there are just two classifications. It's either a raster image, meaning something coming out of Photoshop or another image editor, or it's a vector image, something that comes out of something like Illustrator. And I don't personally care whether it's a PSD or a JPEG, I just care whether it's a raster or a vector. So that's why I've set it up this way. If it's easier for you to remember JPEG, PNG, PSD, and you like that kind of flat folder structure, then feel free. It's not important that you set up your folder structures this way. It's important that you have a folder structure. So do what works best for you. Now let's back out for a second here and go back to the projects folder. In the After Effects project folder, you will find some default After Effects projects for both Adobe CC and Adobe CS6. If we look at the After Effects project, you'll see that the folder structure here is set up to mirror our folder structure. In our elements, we have raster 00, 01 vector, 02 video, 03 audio. And the main folder structure of elements and pre-renders are also duplicated. That means that if you have to collect this project for any reason, either to send it to a client or to collect it for somebody to use off-site, make changes and bring back, it's very easy to reintegrate because when you collect it, it keeps the exact same folder structure that you've already used. Again, it's not important that you use my folder structure. It's just important that you use a folder structure. Organization sets you free. And the more organized you are in your work, the faster and better you're gonna be at it. If you'd like to download this folder structure and project file, just come here to pixelbump.com, click on free stuff, and here down at the bottom, here you'll see the After Effects starter project and file structure. Thanks for joining me for the project planning and organization tutorial. If you want to keep learning, join us in the next video for transfer modes and pre-comps. Thank you very much. Go and create.